Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick insight and today I just wanted to do like a quick video to let you know guys that I've done a quick test and I can confirm that the metahuman issue that we had with the mouth has been fixed. Yes. And the way you really find out how it is is because you need to delete all your metahumans. Sounds scary, right? But yes, you need to delete all your metahumans and re-download them from the uh, using Quixel Bridge inside of the Unreal Engine 5. Okay. And here's let me walk you through real quick. So I'll go here and go to my bridge. This is the bridge that comes with the Unreal Engine 5. And so the way you find out, first of all, select one of the characters that you've uh, downloaded. And over here, so if you have some that have not downloaded, make sure you download it first. And then once it's downloaded, this is how you find out where it's, it's located. You see this, uh, once you click on a thumbnail, just go to these three dots here, click on it one time, and then go to files. And then in here, you can you're gonna find the place where you've downloaded your your mega scans library. Open this folder, browse to asset metahumans under common, common and mockup. So as you can see, the date on these files is 8-4-2022, which means that those are updated uh, facial profiles for you to able to that makes it possible for you to use the AR kit and the live link face app to control the new meta human. So make sure that these are updated. We know before the, uh, the solution that I, was sh I shared with before was to copy these from uh, an older for, uh, project. You don't need to do that anymore. What you need to do is make sure you, when you go to your U UA assets over here, just select this entire for, uh, collection, right click and delete, uh, probably delete permanently. And then go back into your uh, Quixel bridge from the Unreal Engine 5 and then re-download all your metahumans. And when you've downloaded it, if you go to here, you won't see, if it's not downloaded, it won't show you the path. But after it's downloaded, it will show you a path where if you click on these three dots, it will show you where the files have been added. And so, for example, here's another one that I downloaded. If I go to files and go browse to asset over here, metahumans, common, common, mockup, you can see the date. So the Quixel Bridge has been updated. So make sure you update your uh, Quixel Bridge plugin. But also what that uh, Quixel Bridge update enables you to re-download the files, the correct files that are needed to make sure that the facial animation works. So again, as you can see, uh, I have a character here that uh, is working fine. And so I do encourage you to do that. Now, don't the metahumans look awesome? <laughs> so guys, uh, just that was just a quick update. And by the way, if you see this uh, video skipping, that's because I'm actually capturing this live. I sometimes I love the way, the quality of these animations, but I hope that, I mean, it's just a test. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for joining me again, guys. If you're new to my channel, I ask that you kindly spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And as always, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream, guys. I'm always, always praying for you. Much love. Bye for now. Peace.